Hello everyone and welcome to the Acumed channel. Today we are excited to be reviewing an Enlove KN95 face mask. We purchased these from Amazon and here's the listing. These are a 5 layer KN95 mask that come in a pack of 50 for $15.99 with a 4.5 out of 5 rating and 7400 reviews. Now let's go ahead and look at these masks before we run them through our TSI machine. This is the packaging. It comes in a solid black box. Let me go ahead and pop this open. Let's take a look at how they're packaged. So it looks like they packaged them in a lump of 10. Let me go ahead and take one of these out. And as you can see, it does have the KN95 GB2626-2019 on it. Gonna go ahead and test out the strap. Not bad at all. Nose wire. Seems a little bit flimsy, but we won't really know until we try it on. Okay, so already I can feel that this is a fairly larger mask. Um, the ear loops help a little bit but it's it's not giving me the seal that I want. I'm having a lot of leakage. The breathability is is fairly well. There's not there's not a bad smell, but it does smell a little bit too plasticky for me. Now we're going to run them through our TSI machine. This is our TSI machine, model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run the tester setup and start removing the ear loop bands from the mask before placing it on the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holding for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 98.03% with a pressure drop of 13.3 millimeters of water. The second sample tested at 98.66% with a pressure drop of 17.2 millimeters of water. The last sample tested at 98.61% with a pressure drop of 16 millimeters of water. So these masks did pass the filtration efficiency test and are within the KN95 standard. That being said, they tested slightly higher on the pressure drop. So if you're wearing it for an extended amount of time, you may experience some discomfort. Please let us know which mask we should test next. If you would like to send us a mask or respirator, take a look at our description box below where I will be leaving our address. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video.